my list of stuff that I want to kind of wear when I go to the Berghain, some um, Berghain outfit inspiration. Um, it's difficult, right? Because I think when you go to the Berghain, for the most part, you're aware of the scene, you're aware of, the, you're aware of where you're going, and you kind of want to make a bit of an effort, right? Because it's, you know, one of the prominent clubs out there. You want to be a bit of a club kid. You want to indoctrinate yourself. You want to get involved. You want to be part of the scene. You don't want to stand out too much, and you want to be part of the ambiance, right? So you want to plan a bit of an outfit. And usually when I go, I'm usually Rick head to toe, maybe with a band t-shirt on for, you know, just for parity's sake. But um, the last time I went, I had a pair of Dr. Martin, some recurring shorts and a vest sort of top, right? And I was I was in good spirits. I was nice. I was feeling good. I was feeling happy. So this time around, I want to maybe change stuff around, but not too much because you don't want to get denied when you get at the front of the flipping door, right? You don't want them to think, oh, no, this guy's a fucking square. You want them to think of you as somebody that should be in that place dancing and grooving. I would say maybe Saturday at a club nuts could be a, an occasion where you can get at a club night, a club night, however you pronounce it is a time that you could probably get away with wearing a bit more Haida Aikerman, right? A little bit more flamboyant, some Jill Sander, some Isimiyake. But then Saturday, for the most part, especially the main main room, you definitely need to be, you know, Yoji Yamamoto, Rick Owens, Goth Kid, you know, um, and all that kind of vibe. I would say for the most part. So here's some after inspiration for those of you that give a shit. Um, just some stuff that I've been kind of thinking about, stuff that I think would kind of work. Uh, in terms of stuff that I kind of want to do when I go to Berghain at the end of February. That is a plan. I'm just going to book it as well. As soon as I get paid, I'm just going to book that stuff straight away and get out of the way um, in general. But this is what I'm kind of going for, right? This is kind of my idea. I'm kind of going up on your screen. So the first image, I think, I forgot what, what, what brand these things are for. But again, um, this first look is sort of like, I don't know, um, really tiny jean shorts, right? Uh, again, when I get my squat up, and I've got my one rep max up to where I need to want to get to. My fire is going to be throbbing out of those jean shorts. I'm going to look like an absolute foot. And then, of course, some white socks and some athletic trainers. That's kind of one sort of look you see get paraded around Bergheim quite often. Maybe I might be seeing him sending mixed signals out there. But you know what? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> um, then we've got, obviously, the classic sort of, like, Dark Lord look that I would also be game for wearing. This is from Comme des Garçons. I'm pretty sure Spring Summer 19 collection or Fall Winter 19. The collection that included the Jordan 1 collaboration that they did with the whole sort of bondage all over it. I like it because, again, I think it's a look that you could easily replicate with some vintage pieces, stuff that you probably get from like a charity shop, or whatever. You've got this sort of like long lace dress with these stocking sock things, right? Knit. And of course, the Jordan 1s. Um, again, a look that can easily be replicated. And I love the makeup. I love the fact that it's all bleached blonde, no facial hair. You've got this massive earring with the cross on it. And it's sort of like black mascara kind of uh, on the eyebrows around the eyes too. And black lipstick looks really cool. I think that would be something that I'd be game for wearing, to be honest. Then, of course, you've got the classic Rick Owens look that I'm sure you've seen play with Carti, you know, and Gunner absolutely kill um, the last couple of months or whatever. They've been wearing this stuff head to toe. But I like the look of it. I like the fact that it's kind of like, an, you know, a, a disformed bomber jacket in some regards got this sort of like biker denim look and then you got these massive rig going platform high heel things that you know not a lot of people would wear but something that i'd be down to kind of again maybe not the best thing to wear on a berlin club uh, dance floor or the bergheim dance floor but again a look that i think would kind of you know ingratiate you a little bit more with the senior around and then lastly that collection you've got this look from vetimer spring summer 90 i'm pretty sure right the one they did when they were in mcdonald's um again i like the look of it i like the approach i like the face paint Maybe I've included two bits of face paint in this collection just because I think it's a bit more fun, man. Again, I'm not sure how they would respond to it when you get to the front, but I'm sure I've seen some far more wacky outfits when I've been on the Bergheim dance floor than, than this. And again, I think it again would be something fun, something interesting, something to kind of get myself out of my usual comfort zone that I'm usually in when I'm back in London. And then lastly, we've got some other pieces and pieces which should probably lend itself more to a panorama bar feel. I think I could get away with this at panorama bar probably a little bit more than I could maybe at Bergheim. So you've got this great um, top and bottom. But I'm not sure who the brand was again. This might be Jill Sander. This might be... I forgot who this is actually. I should have put the names on it. But I like the look of it. It's like a black and it's like a black uh, black tracksuit or top. To get, it's not, I'm pretty sure it's not, pretty sure it's not a jumpsuit. Pretty sure it's a pair of trousers and a knit. Uh, turtleneck with these little weird kind of like um, neon green horizontal lines going across it which look really cool and again the addition of the Chelsea boots at the bottom really kind of finished the look off really well and then 
Next year, you've got John Oliver. I think John Sullivan, whatever how you pronounce it, John Oliver Sullivan. John Oliver Sullivan, right? I'm pretty sure, right? Who does really cool collections of rule. Um, the Japanese designer who designs for them is amazing. Um, I like this look as well because I think something you can replicate pretty easily for cheap. If you wanted to do so, you've got here a denim jacket, uh, some leather pants, and essentially some biker boots, which you could obviously get a pair. And again, the color at the bottom is kind of peaked out a bit of a purple turtleneck with some hair dye and some, you know, some pale makeup and some highlights there. And then next you've got here, what's this again? I should have put the name down, didn't I? I forgot who this is by, but I like the look in general. I like these kind of like Mark Jacob X boots, these kind of Damir mountain climber boots with the mountain climber tights with a leather blazer. And then the sort of like weird, um, sort of like halter top thing at the top with the hair and makeup again, looks great. And then lastly, we've got here a collection from i'm gonna say the kid that used to walk uh, for a cold war i'm pretty sure he collected he designed this i'm like the look of it in general i think it looks cool i wish bucket hats would look this cool on me but they don't and you've got his bucket hat you've got this sort of like uh patchwork vest top that's cropped a long elongated t-shirt black leather trousers and some you know some running shoes so those are the sort of looks I'm kind of going for for the whole Berlin Burger and trip. Again, not too sure what I end up, what might be the one to go with, but I like the approach of all of them, and I think we'll work pretty well on that Berlin on that Berlin dance floor. Because like, I think in London, for the most part, I don't really try hard enough when I go out. I used to do that often, especially when we used to meet up with my friends. You know, we used to always kind of you know try and out out outfit each other, but. I don't know what happens. I think the more you start getting into the music, the more you start to DJ and stuff, I start, I tend to like leave my outfit choices or my crazy ensembles for when I actually play somewhere. Um, when I'm going out, I just want to be comfortable. I just want to have fun. I want to, you know, listen to the music, hear the set and stuff. I don't want to worry about my outfit beforehand. But I think I might change this going forward because that's part of the fun when you're out in the club, when you're, when you're out in the club for the most part, right? You want to be a bit of a club kid, get dressed up, make a bit of an effort, show out, take some pictures and stuff and just be a bit fun, isn't it? Be a bit bit loose, a little bit entertaining, a little bit interesting. I think so anyway. But, you know, what do I know?